still, I'm still Tammy from the block. Think I got a little, but I got a lot. No matter know what I know, what I came from. Nah, nah, honey, I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home, and if I die now, I'm gonna leave love. Okay, so I'm just editing this video, and I've just had a thought. You know the bits and curry sauce from the chippy? What is it? Like, what are them bits? Is it onion? Like, I don't even know what them bits are. Can somebody tell me what them bits are, please? Okay, thanks, Ply. Please comment what the bits are in the curry sauce, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Okay. Hello, honey buns. It's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome. I'm in a super hyper mood today. I'm so sorry for the over exaggeration of everything in this video. And can I also just say, I got this fake nose ring. I want to put it in. Oh, look. I've got like dry skin. Disgusting. Oh! Ow! Ow! I'm actually gonna leave this in. Hi, my name's Demi and I've got my nose pierced. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be ordering from the worst rated takeaway in my area. I'm so, so excited. Well, actually, I'm not excited because I'm actually really hungry and the food's probably not going to be nice. <coughs> what can you do? I found the worst rated takeaway. I am not going to show you which takeaway it is. These videos, for me, are not about exposing a brand. It's just literally a bit of fun. Entertainment purposes, that's all it is. Okay, I feel I look weird with this one we're gonna take it out. um so yeah these videos for me are definitely not about exposing a brand or trying to make a company go under these videos are purely entertainment purposes and i thought i would do one because i didn't have a video idea for today and you all said to order this so here it is we're gonna order from the worst takeaway in the world well actually newcastle upon dying but anyway moving on so as you can see i've done some research and the worst takeaway in my area is actually a munchie box takeaway now you may be like what is that well it's basically a box where you pick a select few items of different types of items you order them items they come in a pizza box and that's that's basically it that is the takeaway and i'm super excited to do this because i'm hungry and i kind of hope the food is nice okay okay so the reviews of this place is read the food is cold the food isn't delivered on time some people have had to wait one hour and 45 minutes for their food from this place I mean, I ain't got all day home, so I can't be waiting that long. People have compared the food to supermarket food. People have said the food has no taste bland. People have said the food is the greasiest food they've ever tasted. People have overall, in general, just said the food is really, really bad quality. This is how we are presented with the worst rated takeaway in my area. talk about the jumper the jumper is a black jumper and it says you can and it has got the glossy box logo on it because of course it is from the girls at glossy box i bloody love glossy box i love the box i love the company i love the girls that work there i just love glossy box okay um and they're very kind with me i'm working with them on some exciting projects i've worked with them loads in the past and yeah i just absolutely love glossy box um and they kindly sent me this jumper out as a gift no obligation to post about it but i really wanted to tell you about it because i really like it and i'm it now and i think it's nice so this is also available to buy by the way um it's part of the march women's movement type of thing and they wrote a lovely message when they send this out to me saying that they really feel that i empower people and you know give people that confidence hence one of the reasons they sent me the jumper and i love it um but yeah i just think it's so cute i actually do love the jumper and it is available to buy very soon from glossy box i think it comes out on the 8th of march um but as soon as it's out i'm sure it'll be on their instagram page so follow their instagram page and um, but i will link like the glossy box below just in case it's already there at 45 minutes for the food to come and then let's get eating by the way i've left my hair kind of natural today like 
do you know what I mean like I haven't straightened it and it's got that weave in it probably just looks a mess and you're all like yeah okay but I think it looks kind of natural and just like yeah I've got them beach waves that I once desired to have okay okay I'm really annoying today I'm so sorry um but yeah let's put some perfume on love a bit of Liz I was gonna say Lizzo but it's not it's Elizabeth Arden sunflower years late hi food has arrived dolly's going to sit with me oh i got it okay so from the food place i what's that oh, it's a curtain from the food place i ordered sauce i don't get people who eat dry food i ordered a curry sauce um it's a little bit messy I would have thought they would have cleaned the pot up a bit, but never mind, we've got a curry sauce, can't complain. So, I initially ordered barbecue chicken, pizza, margarita pizza, and chicken dip bars. I haven't looked in it yet, but they did ring me half an hour before delivery and ask if I would mind replacing my barbecue chicken with chicken tikka. I was a bit like, oh, chicken tikka spicy, you know. Um, but I've just done it because for quickness and convenience um, because they said they'd run out of barbecue chicken and it was going to take like an hour and a half for the order so I was like no way so yeah I've got chicken tikka, chicken dip bars, pizza and then the sauce which came to a total of £10 with delivery which I think is pretty cheap let me know your thoughts um, but yeah so this is the pizza box which the munch box came in and then obviously the sauce are you ready? boxes before but only from a chinese like chinese takeaway and they do like your yeah, selection of like noodles and loads of different stuff obviously this is a munch box um it doesn't look too bad but i definitely think that the food supermarket food just like put in here yeah. okay i'm gonna try this one this is chicken tikka mm. honestly can't complain about that that is not ah not spicy a chicken that i think you would get in asda though i don't think it's being hand sauced and cooked but i could be wrong but it's very nice either way but i actually think that's really nice and it doesn't look like it's cooked like it's cooked fine and everything yeah. okay it definitely doesn't look like a chippy pizza it's like a thin one but let's just, let's just eat it Just tastes like an asda pizza i think this is why there's obviously the worst rated is because i think the food is just like from a supermarket and so on is a box um for convenience reasons or whatever i don't think that it's like fresh food i don't think that the food's like fresh food made in the store type of thing this does seem like it's being resold on from a supermarket um but I'm not mad at it. The pizza actually tastes decent. It just tastes like a supermarket pizza, not like a chippy pizza. I would buy this again, not gonna lie, like, what I've had to put, okay, so let's go in with the dip app. So I did buy a curry sauce. Now, ooh, it smells like good, good curry sauce from the chippy. So I've got a chicken dip app. We're going to dip it in. Not mad. 
I used to love these as a kid. Like these chicken dippers, my childhood. Mmm. Curry sauce is good, curry sauce. Chicken isn't spicy either, so that's good because I thought chicken chicken would have been spicy, but it's not, it's really nice. Yeah, literally eating it not saying a word because it's just nice but I, uh, would i get it again yeah i would um it, it's definitely not i don't think that it's um cooked in the shop type of food i do think that it's like bought from the supermarket and heated up like this does feel like pizza that i've had in asda chicken dippers you can get big packs of chicken dippers and that does feel like the chicken from like asda and stuff but it's not bad food like the food's nice i'm not gonna lie like it isn't the best quality takeaway it isn't like delicious but the food's decent like it fills a hole it's really nice i do feel if it is all obviously from the supermarket though that nine pounds kind of overpriced um yeah do you know what i mean but i'm not complaining i think it's decent decent enough i'm bloody windswept Okay. But pick up my Auntie Margaret. Me and I'm speeding me car and just left the clutch in the first gear. When that happens, I get annoyed. No part of my worst rated video, but I thought I would do that at the beginning so like people don't think it's clickbaiting. And then this is just like my general life anyway. You know, I'm just extending the video a bit. Because I feel like I haven't posted in so long and honestly like yeah i missed youtube and i didn't have any video ideas for today i have actually got some very exciting ones that i'm filming over the next few days but yeah i really was in the mood to film today so we're vlogging we went to the worst rated takeaway ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. i've pinched this out of the fridge it's an iron brew and i think it's brad's and i've pinched it and if it is brad i'm really sorry i'll get you some more but i was so thirsty and it was the only thing in Anyway, it's a bit copyright, isn't it? I don't think you're allowed to do that type of thing, so. takeaway in my area sitting in the bathroom how classy don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe and if you've got any other video suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments below and without further rat -a -tat -tat, i will let you go and i'll see you very shortly for another video bye <laughs>